So yeah, um, I had to remake this video because Vlad TV got my video flag. Um, but I'm gonna talk to you about the Vlad situation after I show y'all what's going on. So just a quick update. Another rapper has been shot in California. You know, Slim 400 got shot. Slim 400 is a um is a rapper, and he signed with YG. And y'all know YG, um, you know, he from California. He had a couple of hits with Nimsy Hustle. He had a couple, um, he had a hit with Drake. Who do you love? You know, uh, YG had a couple of hits. Great music, doing his thing. Um, they Bloods. They from Englewood, California. And um, Slim 400 been shot before. And, you know, he, he, he'd been shot before. He survived. And, and they came again and, and killed him this time. I don't know why these rappers get shot one time and then still live like it never happened. Like, they never got shot. Like, you cannot be hanging out in the hood after you done got shot. You can't be just hanging out. Like, you feel me? Like, it ain't nothing. People, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 they after your head, boy. You feel me? So, I'm going to just play a while going real quick. I'm going to just show y'all what the news said. That's what confirmed God. It seemed like I don't believe um, when black people give y'all the message, so we gotta give y'all the message from another source. Out of Inglewood, police are investigating a deadly shooting near Manchester and 7th Avenue. Now, officers were patrolling the area last night just before 8 o'clock when they heard shots fired. While they found a man who had been shot, he was taken to the hospital where he later died. TMZ is reporting the victim is a rapper who goes by the name Slim 400. However, police have not confirmed that. Of course, we will keep following the story and bring you more as we get it. So you can see that's the news right there. You know, the police haven't confirmed his name, but TMZ confirmed it and everybody else done confirmed it. And, you know, I, I could just read what's going on, but I'm going to show y'all real quick before I read it. You know, just in case people were like, oh, it's, it's, it's a lie. You know, it's good to show y'all where the sources came from. So that's Slim. I think I should have been recording a video on my iPhone instead of my other phone. But so, you know, it says Slim 400 was shot um, early this morning, like super early, like. Actually, correction, 7.50 p.m. last night in the area. Um, it said the shooting occurred at 7.50 p.m. in the area of Manchester Boulevard and 7th Avenue. You know, so officer patrol, officer on patrol heard gunshots and responded to find a man on the ground with gunshot wound. So, you know, the officer, them, they was in the area, they heard shots fired and you know, by the time they circled around, they they pulled up to where um, Slim Four Hundred was at, and he was he was shot. So the victim was treated by paramedics. So they treated him at the scene. You know, they made that try, whatever the doctor them are doing, the CPR and them type of things. There, and, you know. So no arrest has been made yet. They have no suspects so far. And it was no motive. They don't know what the motive was. But like we say, he'd been shot at a couple of times. We done seen other video with these dudes driving around Englewood in California. And dudes was chasing them or they was chasing dudes. And they was basically having a shootout. Just riding around in the city, just shooting at each other while they driving. I'm not sure if any innocent Boston that got hit. But if they was doing that, it was a possibility of bystander getting shot. So it's to show you how reckless these dudes are, man. So my video got deleted because I, I played a, um, a Slim 400 interview earlier with my other video just to, you know, give y'all insight when he was talking about um, him getting shot. And that video was from Vlad TV. And it's my reaction, bro. I should have all right to 
play a video and do my reaction on it. But Vlad got my video flag, so I ain't fucking with Vlad no more. And y'all shouldn't either, because he's just a culture vulture. And he don't want nobody else to make no money and nobody else to do nothing but him. You feel me? So I don't respect Vlad for that, bro. You see what I'm saying? And straight up, bro, not even black, bro. I don't even respect too many dudes that's not black that's talking about black people and have a opinion on our culture. Bro, you're, you don't know. You don't live this life, bro. You don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, leave it to us to speak about us. You feel what I'm saying, bro? Like, with, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of weird, bro. You have people that's not from our culture telling other people about our culture and about us. Like, bro, don't live this life. Like, it's, that's weird, bro. Not over here telling people about how Chinese people are and da 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 da. I'm not Chinese, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's weird, bro. Come on, y'all need to stop being a culture vulture to black people, man. So I'm going to play the audio since I can't play the video, even though it's a reaction from YouTube, right? And I know this all right, but they've been flagging my page because I talk about that black stuff. So I'm going to just play the audio. That kind of motivated me to stay like, like alive and do what they telling me to do to keep me alive, you feel me? So, so this is your relatives came out and grabbed you or, or your yeah, friends? Yeah, my colleagues, yeah. So they're actually risking their lives. Why are they still shooting? The shooters are still, are still there, so they're risking their lives yeah. to save you. I'm just let y'all listen. Knowing they might get killed in the process. Yeah. That's some real soldier shit. Yeah. Right there, man. I, I mean, you know, I, I got tearing up just even talking about it. For real. That, that's a real, what, that's some real love right there, man. A lot of people would have just stayed in the house and waited for the shooting yeah, to end. I feel you. And you would have probably died right there. Yeah, that part. Wow. Yeah. That's uh, that's, that's incredible, man. I'm, <laughs> that's something you can't pay back. Yeah. So you get shot nine times. Yeah. But I assume that every time they, they shot, they didn't hit you, so they must have let off a lot more. They let off hella shots, but only nine hit me. Only nine? Yeah. Now that's... I mean, people died from one gunshot. Yeah. But where did you get hit exactly? Shit, I want to say I got skint on my head, my ear, my face, top, back, front, stomach, like. So you got shot in the stomach? Yeah. I understand they had a staple uh, in your stomach? Yeah, I still got it right here, too. Okay. So they take you to the hospital. Mm hmm Were you thinking you're not going to make it as you're going through this? Uh, Actually, I can't really say what I was thinking, but I would say, I thought, like, in, in, in reality, I'm, I, what I remember, uh, I was, like, dreaming of something, bro. Like, it seemed like I was somewhere with homies just doing some shit, but I was really must have been in an ambulance truck, or I must have been at the hospital at this time, but in mind, it felt like I was dreaming. <laughs> You know what I mean? So I really can't say, like, what I was thinking, but it just felt like a dream. Okay. So they had to operate on you, I said. Huh? They had to operate on you? Yeah. They had to pull out the bullets? Yeah. Any of the bullets still in you? Uh, I got one of my jaws still in me. In your jaw? Yeah. Why can't they pull that out? I don't know, but I got another doctor's appointment coming up. I'm going to check on that. Okay. So at what point after all the operate, was it multiple operations? I had probably like four different surgeries. Four surgeries? Different surgeries, yeah. Right, because when you first heard the news, and you're like, Slim 400 got shot nine times, and he's in ICU. Yeah. You're, you're thinking, oh, he may not make it <laughs> nine times, and you're hearing about a surgery, you're like, okay, this may not work out, unfortunately, but you actually pulled through. Yeah. Do you remember in between the surgeries? So here you go real quick. I ain't going to play the whole entire video. Y'all could go check out the whole interview yourself. You know, that that was just him talking about when he got shot. And, you know, he was, like, scared and saying, like, damn, if I make it, he was going to change his life and, you know, do all these things. But it seemed like he didn't because he was still hanging out in Englewood. And that's where they pulled up on him. And all these rappers down in their hometown. I don't know why they don't learn, like. When she become a rapper, you can't be hanging out in your neighborhood. You can't, you know, just you can't be slipping out here like that, bro. You niggas is lacking, bro. 
So I hope we learn from that. And we see what happened with Young Dolph not too long ago. So I, I think, you know, niggas ain't learning, man. Some of them know what y'all want to think, but the world, um, Slim 400 situation. Rest in peace to Slim 400. And my condolence goes out to YG. I know this one probably hit you heavy. So, you know, respect. When I put on the gun, them stop the senseless killing, bro. It's so amazing. I want to love where I deal with. It's so amazing. And this is the thing there. So, let's lick, uh, lick, hit that like button, man. Hit that subscribe button. Just drop a comment, anything. You feel me? Help me, help me to get to 100 subscribers real quick. You feel me? All right, man, I'm out.